morning, everybody, and what a beautiful day it is. I'm here with Tina. Hey, Tina. We're going over to Down Tools to try their new branch, my new show. Come take you along with me. So if you're looking to see where this place is, it's down Church Lane, which is down this street here. There's the Albert Clock, walk down High Street, and then it's just down there on the left-hand side. It's down by near Muriel's sort of direction, <laughs> this Church Lane here. As well as apparently lovely food, it also has a great history to it too. Um, it used to be an old uh, tool and saw repair shop that was open for like 108 years, I believe. Maybe wrong in that figure, but that closed last year, um, sadly. But now they've got a new brunch and lunch space open. So here it is, here's Down Tills. And also you've got the Game of Thrones skip rooms, I think, above it. But I'm going to try the new brunch menu and see what it's like. So we're at Down Tills here with this lovely lady here, my dad for today. I.e. my wife, Tina. Um, so here it is here. It's an outdoors today because, you know, it's a beautiful day, obviously, so I might as well take advantage of it. And I'm going to show you the menu next. So this is the menu. You can get sort of breakfast items. You can get uh, the new brunch items are here. If you want to just pause on and have a little look at it. And then you've got your usual sort of... Uh, lunch sort of items like grilled cheese, stuff like that, roast beef. Apparently this is amazing, the brisket. So just inside here, okay, you can see the old sort of tool shop thing as well. You can saw repair shop in here. Um, there's actually 120 of them here, so it's up 122 years, not 108 like I said earlier. Here's the interior of the place. Lovely and fresh now. We'll go upstairs here, there is a Game of Thrones skip room, I said, linked to the same business upstairs. So I'm gonna go up and show you around a bit. And we'll see the, the first floor here. The, the logo here, that's down to us off the saw company again. And on the first floor, you can see is another scene area for food. Be good for big groups, I would say, you know, around Christmas time and stuff. And lovely view as well. Over church now. This also has the reception for Game of Thrones escape rooms if you are going there. I'm going to definitely try that at some point. Um, and then I won't show you it. I don't want to keep a bit of a mistake, but as you can see, up there is where the escape rooms are on the other two floors. Be a really cool place. Looking forward to trying the lunch. Got two lunch items ordered, and uh, I'll show you those in the video obviously too as we get them. I'm um, really like the place. Uh, nice that they've kept sort of history alive about it, and uh, you know, it was sad that that place closed, but they sort of kept it alive for all the themes. So the food has arrived. This is my grilled cheese sandwich, but I've also got the 12 hour brisket. That's not on the menu, but I requested it because, you know, you don't ask, you don't get. That looks good. And there's a Parmesan cheese crust on the outside. Oh my god. Well, Tina orders some of the new brunch items. It looks delicious. So it's like poached eggs over the 12 hour brisket with like wilted spinach and like a ball day sauce. Mm -hmm. What do you think that looks like, Tim? Yeah. <laughs> looks amazing. This grilled cheese sandwich is brisket. It's phenomenal. See that Parmesan crust? What a fantastic idea. Oh my god. So just out of brunch there at Down Tills, that was absolutely fantastic. Even though it was gifted, I'm still giving an honest review of it. And it was phenomenal, especially the brisket. If you're going there, definitely recommend that bit. So thank you so much, uh, firstly for Andrew for having us down today. Um, really, really good service from all the staff there. Um, lovely decor and the food was excellent. So highly recommend you going down there. Um, thank you very much for Connor Hogan, aka Belfast Food, food Blogger, for the recommendation. So we're in Studio Sook at the minute. Um, probably one of the best examples of a shop that has an amazing amount of local brands. Um, I was spun these for instance, I showed these before, this is Sasha Ferguson stuff, all the wee pens. Got the patches as well too, she sent us two of those in the past. And you've got the bearded candle maker stuff too, all in here. And tons of other local brands. You've got all the Kyfield design stuff as well. And over here all the Belfast Pods, I love those ones. And you've also got the ones from like Flax Fox around here too, which are very cool. So if you're ever a part of the city of Belfast, like we are, or even if you're a tourist looking for some bit more classy tourist goods, then you should definitely come down to Studio Suit for a look around. And some amazing artwork here around here. So I should be at the bar right now. I've seen walk past my sister's closet. Nice fan thing to say <sighs> There she is. Wasting my time. I want to drink. Hello. <laughs> Busted. In the beautiful rooftop bar in Babel here. And look at that fantastic view. There's another great one around the corner to show you. Which you've probably seen before. And that is some street art. 
by the wonderful visual waste. So later on in the evening we tried uh, six by Nico's new Thai street food menu. So we're gonna go through some of the courses. So this here is the Thai inspired our Thai street food six by Nico menu. It's gonna be here for six weeks, another five weeks by this point. Uh, here's some of the courses. Just stop it when you want to look at something. And it's only 4.50 today and look how packed it is already. I think you have to book quite far in advance so maybe give them a wee call uh, before you try to get down but it's well worth it. We've been here once before Tini, you loved it last time didn't you? Yeah, yeah so it's, it's fantastic here. Here's the wee Thai fish cake um, snack we got just before meal that was lovely. Um, next on to the chicken bao buns, shredded chicken that was beautiful. Um, next one's one of my favourite ones that's the pork cheek. Uh, that was incredible. I'm going to cut to another wee video here for you. So I'm eating the pork cheek with the Tom Young sour soup. And let's just appreciate how tender that is. No knife necessary. Next we had the summer pumpkin spring roll. That was delicious. I love that one. Um, and we have moved on to the pan fried sea bass. Tina's favourite. That was great too. Um, next we had the Penang chicken. Not my favourite but was still delicious with like a sweet potato puree. Um, then the last one was the sticky rice parfait, which is one of my favorites in the whole menu.